people have become so sophisticated at breaking into accounts, especially if you're a business owner, that if they have your identity, they will call your telecommunications provider, pretend to be you, port your number to a new SIM card, boom, they're into your account. And it's pretty easy to do. Two-factor authentication, you should all have it switched on on your individual accounts by now. Pretty much everyone does because Google have pushed this pretty hard. It's pretty hard to sign up for an account and not switch on two-factor authentication. If you have not yet, then you can do that pretty easily. You go to your Google account security and then you go to two-step verification. Absolutely mandatory. But what is also mandatory, which you may not have set up, is to enforce it for your whole company inside your admin panel. And this is the number one area of vulnerability for Google accounts across our whole customer base, full stop. 2,000 odd active businesses we have under our management. This is the number one backdoor security vulnerability that people just leave wide open. So that's why absolutely mandatory that you get this right. You go to your admin panel, you go to security, and then in authentication is two-step verification. And it's really easy to do right at the top here. You can actually enforce this as a policy. So in your account, what you're going to do is you're going to switch it on from a certain date and just pick a date like a week or two in the future. And you're going to set that date. And then when you have new users joining your business, you will set a grace period for them to become enrolled. So you will start a new staff member, you give them their email address, you give them a password. And then with that email address and password, the first time they log in, it should prompt them to, to do it. But just in case they don't set it up the very first time, you can give them a grace period of a week to get that set up. And then basically you just go and hit save. Now, important note is you probably want to switch this button here, this radio button number two, which is to disallow text-based authentication and phone call-based authentication. Because unfortunately, people have become so sophisticated at breaking into accounts, especially if you're a business owner, that if they have your identity, they will call your telecommunications provider, pretend to be you, port your number to a new SIM card, boom, they're into your account. And it's pretty easy to do. It's not that difficult to do. So best practice, even though it's a bit annoying to download the Google Authenticator app or Authy, one of those other apps that gives you the key, I'm sure you've got that set up by, for your bank already now. Just set it up here. The other cool thing that Google does is they will just send you a prompt. So if you've got something like the YouTube app or the Gmail app, I think it works in as well, or the Google search app, it'll just pop up and you can just click one button for a prompt for the two factor. But this is absolutely mandatory. Please, please do this because the number of calls that we get to concierge and other avenues on our website where customers say, hey, my whole account's been hacked. All my staff have been locked out. I can't work. My whole business has come to a stop is unfortunately common. It happens multiple times a month and it's just standard business for us. But if you do this, this will stop probably 90% of those attacks from happening. So make sure you switch on this policy. Very, very important. If you do one thing from this whole presentation, please make sure you do that one. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. If you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.